about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, we've seen Drake and 21 Savage's promotional campaign for her loss for their album. They've been doing some creative things. Uh, like a tiny desk performance that was fake, a Howard Stern interview that was fake. They also did a fake Vogue magazine cover, and now they're getting sued for using the Vogue name without permission to promote the album. According to legal documents, uh, Condé Nast, which owns Vogue, said the rapper's promotional campaign was built entirely on the unauthorized use of Vogue trademarks and false representations. They would appear on Vogue's next cover with the love and support of longtime editor-in-chief Anna Wintour, according to the complaint that was filed. They said all of this is false. False, and none of it has been authorized by Condé Nast. Condé Nast claims Vogue and Anna Wintour have not endorsed her loss in any way and have asked multiple times for all promos using the Vogue name to be taken down, but nothing has been done. They said the defendant's flippant disregard for Condé Nast's rights have left it with no choice but to commence this action. So they are being sued, and the publishing company is asking for at least $4 million in God damages. Dang. Or triple the defendant's profits from their album and counterfeit magazine. They also want punitive damages and an end to any trademark infringement. That's Lord wild. have mercy. I mean, they take their brand seriously. Yeah, but people have been doing this for a long time, not necessarily just with Vogue, but magazine covers, newspaper covers. You know, people make... Yeah, fake. but it's Drake, the, big, one, the, the one of the biggest artists in the world. And Vogue is a huge publication, and I don't know that Anna Wintour is known for being nice. Yeah. Them <laughs> like pa- that. That's them crazy. party flies didn't be talking about. Nobody care about those. That's it was, Drake. It was, okay. it was party <laughs> flies. You, I know that's what you're talking about. <laughs> that was yeah, a, you talking about King Magazine probably. What, what, no, what? I mean, you see it on newspapers. You see it on other magazines. What, Vogue covers? I never seen no, nobody talking about Vogue. Vogue. Cover. Not Vogue, but other magazines. You yeah, I never I seen nobody I mean, like Tiny Desk cover. didn't have an issue with it. Howard Stern didn't have an issue with it. I mean, Howard Stern participated. And yeah. Tiny Desk participated. And Vogue. Well, Tiny Desk, no, they said, let's do a real one now. After they did the... Oh, they didn't do that on Tiny Desk set? No, they no. did a oh. fake tiny desk. And I thought Howard Stern said they chopped up parts of his previous, of, of other interviews. I don't know if he participated. Oh, that wasn't Howard actually participating? <laughs> Where you been? She said that the other day when she reported. I it. didn't know that. I yeah. thought that was, I thought Howard was in on it. That guy was But right I mean, the whole morning. thing you was, you know, spoofs I never heard her say that. huge yeah, she platforms. Did. She said it was mm. fake. But um, No, I knew the interview was fake. I knew it wasn't a real Howard Stern, Drake 21 interview, but I thought Howard participated in the spoof. Mm. In the sketch. Well, Vogue clearly didn't. Yeah, Vogue didn't. <laughs> clearly not Vogue. All right. And so now they're suing. Now, 21 Savage, for his part, he was on Academics Off the Record podcast. And when asked about whether or not he stands by Drake, because there's a lot of disses on the album that people have been responding to, here's what he had to say. Any, anything he had to get off his chest, you know what I mean? He was getting this shit off. And I wonder what you were thinking, like, like I don't know if, how the sessions were going, like, if he's sending you shit to... And you hear that because he's chatting on there. You know, I'm pointing it out. Like when he sent me the song, I'm t- I'm pointing out what I heard. Like telling him, like, yeah, n- talk that. Sh-. You gassing it? <laughs> you know I'm gassing. Yes. I'm behind him. I'm <laughs> nah, standing for real on though. whatever he's standing on. I'm standing on it too. So. I like what Drake likes. So, <laughs> so say, say say what you feel. Nigga. All right. So there you have it. If he's on the album, he was gassing it up even. All right, take off. Let's talk about him. Um, his album, The Last Rocket, has returned to the Billboard 200 after his passing. He's back on there at number 189. It originally debuted at number four with 49,000 album units sold, equivalent album units sold, when it first came out in 2018. So now it's back uh, there. And Justin Bieber is going to be performing at his memorial service. All phones will be confiscated, by the way. What does that mean? Is Justin doing a ballad or something? Yeah, performance house. Crazy. He must be singing a ballad or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, he's... A dedication, I'm sure. Or... Collaborated with the Migos before, mm-hmm. but he is going to be performing, and it's a... Uh, whatever he's doing, whatever's taking place, all of that stuff is going to be top secret. Mm-hmm. So anybody that does attend, again, it's going to be at the State Farm Arena in Atlanta, and no phones allowed. Hey. And people should respect that. Condolences again. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Lord, mercy sending the healing energy to the family at takeoff. All right, now let's discuss... Uh, T.I., his son, Messiah, he's embarking on his own journey as a country music star. Okay. Yes. So Messiah is now doing country music. He's performing under the name Buddy Red. And so he previously posted a video of himself 
uh, before his show, and here's a video of him uh, actually performing. He said, can you tell it's my first live performance? You all made it feel so good being up there. I appreciate it very much. The song I'm playing is out right now. It's called When I Dream, Buddy Red. Country music slaps, by the way. Some of the best stories uh, come from country music, okay? Best storytelling is in country music. A lot of hip hop and to me, country music got the best storytelling. Here's the actual song, by the way, because he did say it is available streaming. I know things sound different perform live, but just so you guys can get a little mm -hmm. taste of it. Hey, you fool around to watch Buddy Red blow up. <laughs> Buddy Red blow up and be the next hoodie out here, the next hoodie in the blowfish. Question, I'm, I'm not, not mad a, at it. I'm not a country, uh, I don't indulge in country music, but was there another Buddy Red before? The name sounds familiar. I don't know. I know Buddy Guy. Was there Buddy Red or no? No, no, I'm no Buddy, Buddy guy. Okay. I never heard of Buddy Red. I'm just nice to know. I have to put my man Bobby Bones on the uh, Buddy Red. See what he think about uh Buddy Red. Buddy Red. There's somebody named Buddy Red Bo. Buddy Red Bo. I'm gonna text Bobby Bones the dancer. Hey man, got some new music for you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think of this Buddy Red. It's Buddy Red. It's also a color for a portable radiant heater, Buddy Red. It makes so much sense too. Buddy Red got to go to Nashville. He got to go move to Nashville. And Nashville is white Atlanta, by the way. So, you know, I mean, he grew up in black Atlanta. Now you just go to white Atlanta and, you know, get your music career pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there you have it. Uh, Buddy Red, guys. And that is the your... country. The Country Music Awards is tonight, too, by the way. Well, he needs to be there. Well, but maybe Buddy Red will be there. <laughs> it's tonight. Mm. Uh, you know what? Okay. I'm gonna... what? Since you said Nashville, I was just going to bring something up, but y'all won't probably even know what I'm talking about. But uh, there was this, uh, there's this woman, Takitha. She used to be signed to Wu-Tang. I know Takitha. I don't know her personally, but yeah. So when I last time I was in Nashville, I actually ran into her and her daughter, and they both uh, do country music. I just thought of that when you said Nashville, okay. and then country music, and then black people doing country music. So that's all. The so shout out to Takitha. Takitha. Mm -hmm. And um, her daughter, who's also RZA's daughter, she also does country music too, and they actually sound pretty good. So what shout out to Prana Supreme and Takitha. They're actually a group. Mm. And that is your rumor report. Well, the 56th Annual Country Music Association Awards will be on tonight. What is that voice? Okay. Yeah, what was what that is voice? that voice? Is that your country uh, voice? I don't know. <laughs> it's offensive. I think it's Bobby. Bobby might be hosting it tonight. Is he? <laughs> what a friend you are. Who are you giving your donkey to, man? <laughs> uh, do, do it in your country voice. Four after the hour. <laughs> I can't my Invisalign lines in. I had to put this. I'm actually on my third Invisalign line because you know you got to switch it every two weeks. You know, nothing more humbling than when you smell your Invisalign, but that's a whole other story. Uh, four after the hour, uh, mm -hmm. a young man who tried to rob a Louis Vuitton store needs to come to the front of the congregation. They haven't released his name because he's only oh. 17, but we'll discuss. Did you see the video? I did. Hilarious. I wanted, play, I wanted to play a game, but I seen the video. I don't even know what race he is. All right, because you can't really tell. No. All right, great. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get to it next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.